Uh, we're, we're doing some uh, hillbilly repairs today. Apparently this caught on the bolt Some we were adjusting. We he didn't just noticed it. that it's pushed out, so Pops is going to fix it. We're going to tap it in. Ooh, Better. No more. more. No more. Little more. Almost perfect. Three more taps. Hey, you hit it too hard. That was three times. That looks good. My father, he can fix anything with a hammer. <laughs> Sanded this probably in two years. So, uh, final sand, get all this ready, put this back on, and I got a little bit of work to do on the rocker, uh, a little bit of work to do on the hood. So, get ready for paint next weekend. Factory hood, factory hood from AMD. That's how much craziness. It's got like 19 layers of black yeah, and you gray. you can see all the stuff here. But that's how to and get it been pretty down smooth. 400. My my lake here is a little bit low, and it has a like where this is creased. It just changes a little bit with the light. But uh, we're we're doing some uh, hillbilly repairs today. Apparently, this caught on the bolt. Some we are adjusting. We he didn't just noticed it. that it's pushed out, so Pops is going to fix it. We're going to tap it in. Ooh, a little Better. No more. more. No more. Little more. Almost perfect. Three more taps. Hey, you hit it too hard. That was three times. That looks good. My father, he can fix anything with a hammer. <laughs> what else did you say? It's called sledge maintenance. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm 
pretty sure we're very, very close. I'd say like 98% everything sanded. Um, a few little things. I showed the, the, the lake here that it has a little bit of a valley. Um, with it wet, I could see the reflection of the lights above and it just has a little bit of a fluctuation and it's how far do you go? I, I went as far as I wanted to. You can see Pops said uh, there's like eight layers of primer on this thing. And maybe I'm a crazy person for doing it, but it allowed me to level some areas. Like this here is actually high. There, There's the top coat of the primer, but I went through the gray, the black, a gray, a black, down to another gray. And I, and I stopped because I didn't want to get to bare metal. Yeah, and this is it's just as smooth as it can be. Super, super slick. I don't, I don't feel any of that. But sanding this today, I mean, look at that hood. Straight from AMD, all the little high spots and stuff that it has. That blocking all this um, really makes it nice. So. Yep. <laughs> um very very close so probably the next video for this charger will be maybe some of the back taping with that uh foam stuff and kind of how to use that and how i envision using that so we'll we'll see how that works out so maybe that and then i took off next friday so i can be here and painting the car you also got paint the, yes you also got the back of the car which was being blocked being able to here's the rotisserie and it was blocking all this sanding that we needed to do on the rear end I'm, so that's I'm gonna, done i'm gonna put red and clear uh like like it's a finished product and yes. then i will probably tape off the whole car and come back and do the black like from this ridge and paint well, probably same edge and this will all get black that's yeah. kind of my idea um and maybe into the bumper somewhere in here maybe on this line that way all this is red and then this will all be black behind the bumper that's yeah we we used our pump up table to pump it up pump it up and then we put two big jack stands with with uh rags under it so it won't scratch the uh, finished paint. Oh, <coughs> uh, you can look at this. And then roll the... Uh, there was a the dent truck. here. Oh, there was? Yeah, there was a dent. But all my layers of primer, you can see there's a little hint of red overspray. But gray, black, then gray, then black, then gray. No, this is, this is top. So I had to go through four layers... And this builds back up. This is the top layer of gray, and or top layer of black, and barely any gray. There was red in the center of that, but it allowed me to sand everything down yeah. and to where that's beautiful. Battery died. In case it didn't record, I'll put this in. So everything's smooth. Everything's great. Everything's wonderful. Yep. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your view time. And comment if you see anything else needs to be done, because now's the time. Alrighty, so pretty much everything is done except for what's on my list here. What's on there, Pop? I've got a little bit of work to do on this rocker. Driver quarter bottom. Driver quarter bottom. I'm going to show you my last tidbits here to do. So a little bit there, I can feel a little ridge right there I want to get rid of. Behind rear valance, so you can see I didn't spray right here, so we got to get that. I'll probably sand all this and respray all of this, including that, like try to spray like down at an angle to get all the backside of that. And you said driver quarter, I don't know where this errant bondo came from but it was on the bottom of this that should be just a factory crinkle yeah but maybe there was something more you can you can see how the sanding like it has a few little ridges where it was pressed um maybe something was worse on that one 
but I don't remember doing that, but who knows. I mean, it feels smooth, but I gotta get that. You already said the uh, passenger rocker over here. Passenger yeah. rocker, rear. Fender to hood, we gotta look at it. Fender to hood, yep. Front windshield edge and the rear window edge. Yep, and then we've got uh, pinball boxes that we will cut out some window templates and tape them all in. So we'll get busy sanding. I know you don't care about seeing sanding, but that's the last of my detail stuff here I'm doing. But all this will get covered up, back taped, so we don't get any overspray on it. Yeah, I think clean all that edges and everything where we're oh, going to yeah. put tape. So it'll take. And then probably a combination of... It's dusty. Probably not cardboard. We might use... Oh, you bought this uh, painter's stuff, yeah. didn't you? Overspray protective. Yeah. So this is not the same as... Where's our other box of stuff? It's over here. All it is is painter's, painters drop. Yeah. This stuff is terrible. It's extra so light. Don't paint your car with the Home Depot painter's plastic it's great to cover the car for dust i ordered this online and this is overspray protective it's like the paint something about the paint sticking to it flaking off which it probably would on that oh yeah remember which, doing your mustang how it was bellowing and that paint, those paint chips just oh, came yeah, flying just off flying off of it yeah so, so hopefully that'll keep that from happening so hope. combination of that some cardboard some we got a big roll of paper over there on the wall so oh yeah we got a big roll of paper over there so too. We, we'll get it covered so oh yeah back tape all this i mean anything that's red has to be covered yes and then probably in a different video i showed down along the fenders that's where the back side of my fender had a little dent that i said pops can fix anything with a hammer that might be in the same video i don't know yet but he hammered that in. Well, it scraped along the bolt or something up there by the fender. So uh, there may be some issues to address there. But coming along, painting sealer tomorrow. Friday? Friday. What's the date? If we don't get everything back tape. Yeah, it might, it might take a long time to back tape. So we'll see. It I might, might do a time be, lapse of back, back taping. It might be Saturday. So Saturday. To see well, we can going. do the white. Yeah. And then we can do the red. But then we need a third person to put the hood on to get the straps laid out. Yeah. So stay tuned.
Hey everybody, welcome to Clark's Place today. Start of a very exciting time for me. A long time in the making here. Uh, back taping everything. We're gonna clean so all the tape sticks to all the back sides of everything. And then we're putting the sealer coat on today. Is that a 100% accurate statement? Probably. We're gonna get it on today. We're gonna get white sealer on something. <laughs> So white sealer on today, and then probably tonight I will go along with the flashlight. And you've probably seen in a couple of our other videos, I just take a single light and go around the whole body and just make sure there's nothing crazy that's gonna look funky on down the line. But I cut in and did all the little details, sanding the last little looks that I think and like I've said before, it's at the end of the day, it's gonna be a car. There's gonna be things that I look at and go, oh, I wish I could do that better. So, um, sealer, paint, gotta get my Cricut out, do my 440 for the call out on the hood, do the RT for the tail once those are cut. Then we'll back tape those. You call it back taping those? Is that what you do? I guess so. You back tape those, spray over them, pull that, and then reveal the red underneath in the white stripe. So that's all the plan all to come on your favorite channel clark's place yeah pops did a nice job of back tipping everything he left the sticky of the tape out and it's sealed all the way right along the edge so i don't think i'll get overspray on anything and then he put a uh, oh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna destroy what he did there but we need to wipe it down still and he taped all this up as well look you can see all the dust that's accumulated already I don't know if it'll show up on the camera or not, but it's kind of gray. They said that stuff sticks to it. You can see on my finger all that dust. Yeah, crazy. So, clean the car. Back taping time. foam well we're not trying we're actually going to use it so we're going to try we're going to try to use it and you can see it's just on a big roll don't know if you can see but you're going to continue and come up right yep, right for that corner and this talks about make sure you keep the adhesive down Kind of like, uh, duh. Yeah, I know it. It won't stick if you don't. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go 
right along this edge. Pop. Hang on, hang on. This thing was coming off the track. <laughs> we don't want him out. Okay, so. Uh, let's cut this off so you, I don't have to hold this box. You hold that box! You can hold the box while I get scissors. We'll put that down on the floor. You going all the way up to here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. I got body work to do. God no, you don't. Me. No, didn't do it. It didn't hit with the blade. It with the hard part. Okay. We've never used this stuff before. But I like it. But it's a... Let's see how it seals. Foam adhesive. Get that going in. Oh, now there's no blow by. Yeah, and that's the way you spray. When you've got a finished, um, as this one is when you open it, He's got his door jam down and his. Uh, Let's still throw a piece of tape on this because the door jams look great. Yeah. I'll still throw a piece of, a couple pieces of tape. But I mean, it looks like that foam does seal it pretty good. And across the bottom, it looks fine. I nope. like it. It's a gap there. Feel that right there. Maybe we'll put another piece along the bottom edge of the door because that's. That's a big gap along the bottom it side of the door. So, okay, we'll put we'll put another strip along down here. Are you filming? Yep. Yeah, and all the way across the bottom. That'll be the foam will be a against foam the against the foam. Yeah. And as you can see, we've got almost everything taped off. The whole bottom is taped off. Lights. We still have to do the rear panel and do the foam around the trunk edge too. That should be all the foam we're going to do. Yeah, because we're not doing the hood. No. Nope. Hood's already done over there. Yeah, the hood's done, so. Okay. All right. Cool. Bye-bye. All right, something else I like about the foam, probably for primer and all that, it makes it for a nice little soft close as it goes perfectly where it's supposed to land. But for priming and all that, for panel matching, when you get these two super tight and bondoing, it won't slop all in the inside if you're trying to get this perfectly panel matched like I did uh, on both of these. It looks that way, like it just shuts and lines up the door perfectly. Pop says you got that nice soft closed door. <laughs> but yeah, that should do great. I went ahead and tape the hell out of everything just to make sure no overspray went anywhere but i think that's the whole point of these foam jobbies is to keep all that overspray out of there so if there's no paint on any of my yellow tape then these things do amazing yeah so i did the whole bottom of that the whole bottom of that where those two foams seal at the bottom and then across that 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 should should allow me to get paint on both of those edges and that edge is already red there you can see so should be golden or red or whatever color it is all right to get the doors cinch cinched to keep it down further yep with the right gap let's roll up some tiles so we're going to pull it tight it. we're going to cinch it so that is perfect right there so what we do to keep this closed and keep it the right height we'll do just like that seems a big one to wrap around it yep. and now we got the right height the right width of the door so we shut it keeps it off, but when we vice grip that and we pull it in tight with the ratchet to where these yeah. won't fly open when we're painting, perfect. it's going to be perfect. Okay. And we also did a... We've got... Let me get the cardboard. Oh, yeah. We can show that real quick. Let's show your template over here. Yep. 
we used a pinball box. Gotta go back in there further for that. There we go. For that to nestle. And then this will come up a little bit and tape it. Yeah. It's yeah. it's cut to fit, trust us. Cut to fit. Sterns! Had to notch it out to sort of go deeper. Stern is part of our painting process. Yeah, yeah, yeah like stranger, stranger things. things. <laughs> so we got another Ford. We're going to cut another one. We got another it. Ford. We got another box. Board? What'd you say? Ford? Board. You got another board? Cardboard. Oh. <laughs> I, I said, shortened it. To I was like, what's Ford have to do with the making of this? Absolutely nothing. Oh, it probably went and got a lot of parts, didn't it? Yeah. What, I thought I had I had two of them out here. Two what? Two of the full length ones. There's another little halfer right there. Well, halfer. Okay, we use this as a template. Cut out another one. I just told him he needs to mark these. This was uh, this was the right or the driver's side. We need to mark that one passenger side. Okay, we'll mark it. <laughs> All right, here's how I did my foam. What? No, All right, here's how I did my foam. I stuck it all down in that channel. The trunk goes down and squishes it. I've got some places that I need sealer and paint. So I'm gonna pop the hood, just spray that and close it. So I masked off this too. So none of that uh, overspray that gets here sticks to the actual paint that's up there. So, so I masked down and then I masked there with the foam. I figured it'd spray in there and be just dandy. And then put a foam edge along the back and then tape along all in here because all this is really shiny, nice and red. So and that's way dirty now. Gosh, it looks, the inside of my truck looks like the car when I first got it. Just totally washed out orange. <laughs> but yeah, Stern Pinball Company was a uh, part of the making of this. And it looks like everything's taped off. What about the, oh, uh, we didn't back tape the mirror or back tape the door handle, but oh well. Oh well. <laughs> All right, so that's it for masking off. Uh, I believe we've got everything, all the last details done, all the last sanding done. Had a little couple places here and there that we had to fix. Got everything done. All issues addressed. I believe so. We crossed everything off the list. All the lists have been crossed. Yep. That's kind of an idea how we taped everything off. Pops bought some good, uh, some good plastic that is made for this. It's good to read this side out is actually this side out. We tried to be conscious of that. Tomorrow we'll wrap these in the same plastic stuff, but I like the cardboard. That's nice and sturdy, and it allows me to run an edge of paint along that. My car has belt molding. You can see the holes there, uh, but it has the full belt mold that comes along here, chrome. Uh, and with everything in the trunk, you can see the foam is there doing its job down in that crack back window taped off from the inside and the passenger side the same as this with the stern box but yeah I'm hoping the plastic stays and doesn't blow like crazy when I hit it with uh, 18 pounds of air pressure right there but I think it will and then my v21 hood stripe comes into here so this whole section of the cow all that I took the white line down just a smidge so you won't see like red in between the white section of the cow and the white section of the hood stripe that continues out here. You, hopefully you'll just see white in that area. And maybe we'll do the same thing on the hood over there. Yeah. 
is where it follows through. Just tape down and make sure that section of the hood gets white down the vertical section of it. And I think that'll be good. So oh, show them the uh, the little box over the lights. Oh yeah, that was that Pops's ingenious idea. Instead yeah. of taping this cardboard box, just slaps down over the screws. He broke off, broke off four of my studs there, but no, yeah, so no that... studs were harmed in the filming of this. <laughs> and so he can spray all this. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it's, I, it's, it's, load it up with paint. Don't have to worry about anything going right. over spraying anywhere. So love it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you found something interesting. Maybe the foam. Maybe how we got the doors with the towels and stuff in there. That was something that I think for some of the other cars that we've painted, we put like a wooden block of some sort that uh, we fit the right size to make the doors like close on each other and be super tight to where they're not going to fall on the ground when you're rotating them on the rotisserie, but still be the right gap to where that is how that body's going to look when it's all done and said and all that good stuff. Been a long day, but I thought we were gonna paint white today. Took too much to get all the detail taping and everything exactly how I wanted it, but it's going white tomorrow. Sealer, what did we say? Then we're gonna wait a week, do color, pop. Yeah, sealer, and then we're gonna spray color and clear in the same week. Color the next weekend, then the no. following weekend, Tomorrow we're, gonna, we're going to seal it and spray all the red. We're going to do some more painting. That's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>